Hey guys, uh, welcome to this week's governance call. Uh, it's the number 14. Uh, you're hearing shop again. I'm uh, leading this call until uh, Finesse comes back from his uh, personal situation. So uh, you'll hear my voice quite a lot again on this call. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, before uh, we go into this, uh, like uh, if, you, if you're a first time listener, this is the governance call for NFTX, where essentially we come uh, as a team or a DAO together every week on Wednesday at 16 UTC uh, PM um, to talk things through, uh, talk about everything that happens within NFTX and also uh, just have an open floor to discuss anything that's on your mind, like whether you're working on this on a daily or uh, you're just following NFTX, if you have any questions, feel free to do, uh, join this call and ask them uh, so that we can help out. Uh, before I go in the weekend review, uh, Alex, do you want to say anything? Sure. Um, yeah, I think things are going really well internally. Um, and uh, in particular, like this last week, um, I know like Chop remembers we were we were talking with Scott and Scott put together some economic models for V2, um, sort of just like kind of predicting what kind of uh, fees and returns people can expect uh, depending on the turnover of the vaults. Um, and I think, you know, it's, it looks really good. It, it all really depends on the turnover um, and how many targeted redemptions happen. But like we're hopeful that people that are like supplying liquidity to these vaults um, could be getting in excess of like 50% APY, uh, which is, I think, like a really good goal for us and for like our key vaults. And, and yeah, and right now we're just in this like tough development process. Uh, I, I'm feeling so good about everything internally, but it's, uh, it is tough when like price is down a little bit and uh, people are like wondering when they're going to see V2. It, it's coming soon. We have our, our code audit booked for like a couple weeks from now. So, uh, so yeah, it's all coming together really well. I'll hand it back to you, Chop. Nice. Thanks, man. Uh, okay, cool. So as uh, I'll, I'll pick up with the agenda as part of this governance call, uh, I always do uh, look back at the Week in Review, which is uh, like a weekly blog post that we publish on every Monday. Uh, so I'll, I'll just go through everything uh, uh, so that everybody's aware. Also, like if you have any questions, always interrupt me, please. Uh, so the biggest topics, uh, the first one I'll skip. It's a product update uh, with the Redeemer uh, being launched last last week. Uh, so at the end of uh, like my rant, uh, Nick uh, will pick over and give a bit more details on that and also the next steps uh, on product. Um, so that's that. Uh, then we have V2, uh, like Alex mentioned, uh, like both Alex and Kiwi have been super heads down on developing V2. Uh, and we had a governance vote last week running uh, to get that through a security review with Code Arena. Um, so that passed. Uh, so that means that we have the slot, essentially. Uh, it's planned for May 5th to 11th. So in, that's in two weeks from now, I believe. Uh, yeah, exactly two weeks from now. Uh, so then it starts and then it will be in like a Code Arena contest uh, where all the contracts get reviewed. Uh, if there's any like vulnerabilities, they have to be fixed. If not, then we're set to kind of launch uh, after that. Uh, so that's great news, uh, in my opinion. Like everything looks uh, to go according to plan. Um, then the next topic is a status page. So uh, Javery and the like consumer product squad worked on a tool or a website uh, which you can use to check the status of anything NFTX. So if anything is down, uh, you can use that page uh, to to check yeah if if it's uh, if it's due to your local connection or if the system is actually down. Uh, so the URL to that is nftx.statuspage.io. Uh, so uh, yeah, please use that if you run into any problems uh, to check if everything is working well. Uh, and if it's not, then, uh, then that's the cause. Uh, and then the last topic is uh, a vault update. So we've started to look at uh, movements within the biggest vaults. Um, of NFTX, uh, and we've seen some interesting things. So 
uh, while most of the vaults are actually going up in supply, so there's more NFTs going into the vault, uh, there's one vault, uh, which is the punk vault, the crypto punk vault, which is slowly going down a little, at least over the past week, uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just means that uh, like the balance between uh, like the, because it's on an AMM, uh, there's buying pressure for CryptoPunks happening at the moment. So people are using the punk, the AMM pool uh, to acquire punks. So it's actually a cool, like a, a PMF uh, showcase that Crypto punks are being also being bought through, uh, through NFTX. So that's uh, that's good, and we'll, we'll keep following that, and also probably make that into a dashboard later to uh, keep track of like dynamics within the NFTX ecosystem. Um, and that's that for weekend review. And then we have governance, uh, which I think it's a first that we do not have any. Uh, proposals being drafted by me at the moment. Uh, so if anyone has thoughts about proposals, please like speak them out here or on the forums, uh, like uh, the discourse forums, uh, so that we can push that into a governance vote. Uh, but for now, there's not really anything to, uh, to make a proposal for. Um, that's my part. So Nick, if you can take over on product that would be dope yeah cool thanks for that um so you may have seen we've launched the new, the new redeem feature on app.nftx.org uh, so that completes phase two of our migration from the old uh, original app uh, and hopefully everyone would agree like it's a major step up from from where we were and uh moving on next we've got uh, create and manage vault functionality coming. So uh, again, focusing on, on the idea of simplicity and making everyone's lives a lot easier to interact with NFTX. So uh, end of the month target date for for wrapping that stuff up. Stuff up. Uh, and also, like in the meantime, we've moved over to the subgraph. So beforehand, we were using OpenSea for um, a bunch of the calls, but now we're getting a much faster response from subgraph. Um, and then once uh, we've wrapped up the create and manage vaults we'll have the nftx.org site migrating to uh, a new kind of marketing site uh, which will showcase what we do and after that it's on to v2 so yeah we've been talking a lot more about v2 lately with um, protocol fees and everything else coming on uh, and alex kind of hinted to uh, the sort of yields that we might expect and um, some of the cool stuff that's coming with staking so yeah this uh, this step from 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 the original app to what we're seeing now is like it's just getting things functioning properly and then when we launch v2 it will be like right okay now is the time um for users to really like interact because there'll be yields to be made um so yeah all coming uh as fast as we can uh so yeah more updates next week nice thanks uh yeah, for, for like from an agenda point of view, uh, that's kind of it. So we, we always have an open uh, like platform to ask questions or raise topics. Uh, I do have one question in myself, but I'll like give other people the opportunity to raise their voice first. And otherwise, I'll just continue. Uh, no one? OK, cool. Uh, so Alex, uh, I want yep. to like probably it's probably good to mm. to to talk about this here on this uh, mm. call which is the migration from v1 mm. to v2 so we've been talking about this like on a daily uh within the core team of course and we're kind of working towards v2 uh, but maybe it's a good platform to all, all already share a bit on the plans of uh, migrating tokens from v1 to v2 what our thoughts are uh and also like uh, what people can expect yeah. Um, so I'd like to reiterate, I think, like I mentioned yesterday in the daily, that the way I see it, there's basically uh, two ways we can go forward with migration. Uh, it can be DAO driven or user driven. Um, I, I think there's a similar parallel between like migrating from like Psi to multi collateral die. Uh, basically, you know, our, our vault tokens, uh, they, they give people, they're backed by NFTs, right? Um, so with the migration, there will be a new vault token for each vault. Uh, but 
until the old token is burned, it'll still be backed. Um, it's just a matter of whether we actually want to bulk move all the NFTs to the new vault um, or if we want to move them slowly. And I think it makes sense to move all the NFTs at once, um, but then just have people burn out the old token slowly. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's it's kind of a matter, too, of like which vaults we want to transfer over or, or rather which ones we don't. So like we were saying how um, like the Kitty Founder vault, um, we may... I don't know what a, a good euphemism. I don't want to say kill it, but <laughs> uh, yeah. But um, so like something like the kitty founder that only has one item in it. So I guess we want to retire. We will probably want to retire that. Um, and then so, like we want to collapse uh, punk basic, punk female, punk attribute four into a single punk vault. Um, mm -hmm. And then we want to collapse Avastar basic and avastar 30 into a single avastar vault um i'm really looking forward to that like it's definitely um yeah i i'm not a huge fan of like the decision i made with all the hyphens and stuff early on and i i think it'll be great if we can simplify that um and put more emphasis on the floor funds yeah cool yeah yeah yeah, looking forward to that, and also uh, like for the killing, the essentially the the, the very unique vaults uh, makes a lot mm -hmm. of sense. Uh, yeah, and I I don't know if like it, it, it's tough to kind of to unwind those. Um, we may want to wait until we're working more closely with another project, which can kind mm -hmm. of help us with that process. Yeah, um, and then we could kind of use that as like the initial use case. Um, so yeah, there's no rush, like, you know, something like the kitty founder token, I guess that's not even, that's not even circulating, but like the, those tokens are still backed. Mm -hmm. Um, and when the day comes that they do get unwound, um, like any profits from that will go to the token holders. Yep. Um, so yeah, they're still, still totally functional, but it's just not, it's, it's not where the most value is for NFTX vaults. Um, uh, I think that's something that, you know, Scott has, has convinced me and possibly you as well over the last yeah. couple of months is that where the real value is, is for vaults with 20 or more items basically. Um, and that have like high value, but also high turnover. That's where, you know, um, liquidity providers are going to be getting the most gains. And, you know, and, and a big part of V2 is about making NFTs into productive assets. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think I, I'm really excited for that. Um, and I think, yeah, it's just now we're, now we're in the trenches. Now it's kind of the hard part where we just kind of have to just wrap everything together, make sure it all works, and then we can get into growth mode in like a month or so. Yep. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, just a, a service announcement. I'll be on the holidays in two weeks, I think. Uh, so, uh, Alex, you'll be probably leading this call then. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll stock up on Adderall. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I'll be, I'll, I'll definitely block off that whole week to, yeah, cool. to, yeah, act as me. I'll yeah. give you my yeah, to, to try my best. I know you're at your computer like 14 hours a day, so <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah, no, all cool. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that's the agenda. So if nobody else has uh, any like open topics to discuss or uh, drop in, uh, like we can probably wrap it up. Uh, Tio, Tio, by the way. Asher here. Like how how's Bunchy going? If he's still here. He's muted. Yeah. Muted. Yo man. Yeah, going quite good. Working on the design with users. Really exciting. Nice man. Can we like uh because I know you're gonna utilize NFTX, uh like the, do we uh, uh can we help with uh, anything on V2 related designs, like sharing that to you uh, when the time comes and all that kind of stuff? Sure, I think so. That right now we are more focused on the lending side with mm -hmm. Mavi. Yep. But uh, as soon as we work on the deposit side and Oracle, we'll uh, we'll ping you for sure. Thanks. Great, man. Cool. Cool. Well, I think we can wrap it up then. Uh, thanks everyone for joining again. Uh, as always, like next week, same time, same place. Uh, if you have any questions in the meantime, just feel free to ping me all also. Of course, you don't have to like wait a week. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next Wednesday. Sweet. Thanks, Chop. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Bye -bye. Thanks,